Ladies and gentlemen, Lightfall is almost upon us. And while some might be bounty grinding and collecting resources, I'm going to be trying to create the best builds possible so when Legend Campaign rolls around, I can make it as easy as possible for myself. Now I don't know if you all know this, but I love to build graft. It is one of my favorite things in the game because it is just something else in this game, creating a build where you get to watch your abilities come back in 10 seconds, or having so many buffs on your screen that you can't see them at all. Well I have to say, I think I have strunk gold. Observe. In this clip, you can see that every time I freeze a target, it spawns a stasis shard, and when I pick up that shard, I will get charged with light, stasis weapon damage bonus, and a small bit of overshield based on how many shards I pick up. This build is accessible on all three characters, while Hunter and Titan being a little bit more of a chore to get going, but on Warlock is where this build really shines. This is all because of the aspect Glacial Harvest. This aspect reads, freezing targets create stasis shards around the frozen targets. The important note that separates this aspect from the Hunter and Titan one is the freezing targets. Unlike the Hunter and Titan, this aspect only requires a freeze to spawn stasis shards at an enemy's location. Due to this, and cold snap grenades, we can constantly freeze targets and consistently create shards. For extra power, we can then add the Osmiomancy gloves for the extra cold snap thus leaving the rest of the power to come from our mods and fragments. For our mods and fragments, the other stasis aspect we'll be using alongside Glacial Harvest will be Ice Flare Bolts. This reads, shattering a frozen target spawns seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. This will be useful for as we are freezing so many targets, whenever we kill or eliminate that enemy, their body will release a seeker that will track and freeze more enemies thus creating more stasis shards. For our fragments, we'll be using Whisper of Fissures, which increases the damage and size of bursts of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. Whisper of Rhyme, collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Blessing additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. Whisper of Shards, which reads, shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts grenade recharge rate. And Whisper of Conduct, which reads, nearby stasis shards track to your position. To really get the full potential of this build, we're going to want to pair it with weapons that have headstone on it. Some weapons that have headstone on it would be things like Is Luna, Peace Bond, the newly buffed Forensic Nightmare, the new Prolonged Engagement, and my personal favorite, the Crate. And there are plenty more weapons that have headstone on it. Comes to secondaries, you can really pick whatever you like. I found that a Waveframe GL with Chain Reaction really gets the job done for Ad Clear as well, but anything suitable works. And since we're getting those damage buffs for our stasis weapons, we're going to want to rock a stasis heavy weapon. Some great stasis heavy weapons include the Quillum's Terminus, Bump in the Night, and the Typhon GL5, which are all very great guns for PvE damage. To really wrap the bow on this build, we need to implement some combat mods. Firstly, we will add a Taking Charge mod and a Harmonic Siphon to create orbs on stasis weapon multi-kills and picking up that orb will grant us charge with light. But that won't be our only way of getting charged. Next we will add elemental shards so our stasis shards we pick up will now count as stasis elemental wells. To pair with that, now that the shards count as wells, we will add an elemental charge mod so our wells we get from our shards will now also make us charge with light. Lastly will be the two damage perks. Those will be high energy fire to use the charge with light stacks we gain, which will stack with our font of might we will be getting from the font of might mod. Together, we are getting easily charged with light and also easily getting a damage rough from wells just from freezing a target and picking up their shards. Altogether, this will give us a damage buff on non-stasis weapons of 20% and on stasis weapons of 45%. I would definitely recommend this build in Legend Lightfall as the difficulty will be much higher and this build will really help level out the playing field for damage output. I will most definitely be rocking this build not only for Lightfall, but also for other PvE content. I hope you all enjoyed the video and please let me know if and what you want more build videos using. Thank you all for all of the support on the last few videos. I never expected to be where I am now, and I'm so grateful for all of you. Have a fantastic day.